What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV, back at y'all with another one. So, undefeated, unified, three belt, WBC, WBA, IBF, Ring Magazine, welterweight, world champion, superstar boxer who is widely considered by many to be top two best pound for pound fighters in the world, and Earl The Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr. is 28 wins. No losses, no draw. 22 big wins by way of knockout. He is 32 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72 inch arm reach. With that said, Earl Spence he responds to lightweight title contender star boxer Rolando Roley Romero, who is now 14 wins, one loss, no draw. 12 wins by way of knockout. He is 26 years of age, five foot eight with a 68 inch arm reach. With that said, uh, Rolando Roley Romero he was called out. By Errol Spence Jr. because Errol Spence is now a promoter, a man down promotions, and he promotes another lightweight, undefeated, star boxer, title contender in Frank the Ghost Martin. Frank Martin is 16 wins, no losses, no draw, 12 wins by way of knockout, 27 years of age. He is five foot eight with a 68 inch armage. Okay, he's coming off of a beautiful 10th round stoppage victory uh, that was um, uh, this past weekend. Okay against Jackson Mourinho's, and he got a 10th round knockout victory. Beautiful victory for Frank Martin. And after the fight, Errol Spence, he called out Roley Romero, who was brutally knocked out in the sixth round of his last fight against undefeated three-division world champion, superstar boxer, Javante Tank Davis, who has 27 wins, no losses, no draw, 25 big wins by way of knockout. He is 27 years of age, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch arm reach. With that said, Roley and uh, Tank are stable mates. They both fight under Mayweather Promotions with founder and advisor, uh, PBC, Premier Boxing Champion, Al Heyman, and Mayweather Promotions founder and undefeated, retired, legendary, iconic Hall of Fame superstar boxer, Floyd Mayweather Jr. So with that said, uh, uh, Roley Romero was called out by Errol Spence. And Errol Spence, he stated, make the fight happen with Frank Martin. He'll knock Roley out. Roley responded this past weekend as he attended undefeated lightweight Mexican superstar title contender King Rob Ryan Garcia's fight. And he was interviewed in which he stated that he's skipping over 140 pounds. One, that's 140, junior welterweight. And he's going straight to 147 pounds and he wants to fight Errol Spence. Uh, he don't want to fight Frank Martin. He wants to go directly in the Errol Spence fight since Errol Spence is calling him out. Well, Errol Spence, he responded and he stated that something is absolutely wrong with Roley Romero. He said something is wrong with Buddy. Uh, some things just need no response, okay? Uh, and then he, he let the world know, but I got Frank Martin to make the fight happen. Now, uh, Frank Martin seems to possibly be heading into a showdown with a uh, super featherweight title contender, star boxer, Christopher uh, B. Hop, Primetime Colbert, okay? Uh, Roley Romero wasn't the only guy Errol Spence called out for Frank Martin. Uh, Primetime Colbert, uh, Chris Colbert, Lil B. Hop, he was also called out, and uh, he answered the bell, okay? He stated, uh, he responded to Errol Spence, and he stated that, uh, let's make it happen. Errol Spence um, said, you messed up, champ. Now, uh, Roley, uh, now, Chris Colbert, he said, why is that, champ? Uh, why did I mess up? And he says, you want to fight um, uh, Frank Martin? And he said, why not? Let's make it happen. And then he said, you know, uh, you know, y'all going to put respect on my name. Now, he's 16 wins, one loss, no draw, six wins by way of knockout. He is 25 years of age, five foot eight with a 71 inch armage. OK, he, he suffered a shocking loss, unanimous decision loss to Hector Luis Garcia uh, February of this year in a replacement because he was supposed to fight Roger Gutierrez for the WBA title, but Gutierrez had to pull out the fight. So replacement was Hector Garcia and Chris Goldberg. He was dropped in the fight. He was uh, being roughed up in the fight. Uh, he looked like he started to retreat and he lost. Okay. And he did, obviously he's a big talker, very confident in himself. So Errol Spence, he, and he's always picked against Errol Spence and all Errol Spence's fights Chris Colbert has picked against Errol Spence. So uh, with that said, you know, um, now, you know, he's saying that, you know, uh, you're going to put respect on my name. You know, uh, I respect Errol Spence, 
you know, I won't pick against him. He proved me wrong every single time. Obviously, he's undefeated. But they put a wager of a $1,000 wager that he'll beat Chris, uh, Frank Martin. So it looks like that's the fight that's going to take place. You know, um, and Errol Spence, obviously, is looking for the big, massive, uh, undisputed welterweight showdown between himself and his biggest rival and undefeated three-division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO, World Boxing Organization, welterweight world champion, who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound-for-pound -pound fight in the world, and Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is 38 wins, no loss, no draw, 29 big wins by way of knockout, 34 years of age, 5 foot 8 with a 74-inch arm reach. That makes for the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. So Errol Spence, you know, he stated that uh, Roley didn't want that fight with Frank Martin. He didn't want the smoke. So now he wants an unreal, unrealistic uh, fight, right, uh, with Errol Spence Jr. Now, Errol Spence is a southpaw like Javante Tank Davis. Roley Romero's never short on confidence. Uh, he believes in himself, but uh, he's completely barking up a tree that, you know, um, he can't answer that bell, okay? He's writing a check that he can't cash, that his skills can't cash. Uh, and, uh, you know, um, he feels like he could beat Errol Spence Jr., which is uh, not going to happen, period. Uh, and so that would have been a big fight for Roley to fight Frank Martin. Um, now, I don't know if everything with Chris Colbert is signed, sealed, and delivered, well, Chris Colbert said that they have a thousand, a hundred thousand dollar wager on, uh, um, you know, him beating Frank Martin. Uh, but if that's not signed and sealed and delivered, that's a perfect fight for Roley. Surprisingly, Roley did a lot of talking about um, Ryan Garcia and how he would knock out Ryan Garcia. And everywhere Ryan Garcia went and Roley went, uh, he was pressing Ryan Garcia. Now he says that he don't want to fight Ryan Garcia and he'll fight Ryan Garcia at welterweight for big money. Uh, and he had a high praises for Javante Tang Davis. Seemed like he came to a census. And he's saying Javante Tang Davis is a great fighter, right? So it seems like Roley has come to his senses, you know, um, and he's starting to, you know, uh, focus more. But the fact that he's saying he wanted to fight Errol Spence is really ridiculous in the least. Uh, but uh, again, I think this would have been a perfect bounce back fight for Roley if he could have beat Frank Martin. Uh, what's going to be his plans? The fight Errol Spence is not realistic. Uh, so Errol Spence, he says something is wrong with Roley Romero. Uh, he says something is wrong with Buddy. Some things just need no response, right? Um, but this is Roley. He sells fights. His fight with Javante Tank Davis, his ability to, to talk up a fight people started to believe that he actually was going to beat Javante Tang Davis. Now, everybody stepped through those ropes have an opportunity. You got two feet, two arms, two hands, just like the, your opponent. Um, but he lacks the experience and the skill, okay? Uh, he has the skill set of a novice, let's be real. And he only has 15 fights. You know, uh, he makes a lot of mistakes, and that ultimately cost him against Javante Tang Davis. Uh, but he does have a mouthpiece. He can talk up a fight, and people love to put a camera in his face. People love to listen to him talk, right? Uh, he's entertainment, right? And so um, this would be a huge bounce back fight. I would have loved to see him press the fight with Ryan Garcia, but it seems like he got humbled, you know, um, by this loss to Javante Tank Davis. It seems like he understands that he has to go back to the drawing board and he has to, you know, uh, focus and um, he has to lock in, okay? Uh, he knows that, you know, now that, you know, power is not everything, right? You know, he was relying on knocking out Javante Tang Davis. It takes skills. It takes uh, ring IQ to set up those knockouts, especially at the high level. And I think that he found out and it somewhat humbled him. Now, with this situation with Errol Spence, I believe is that, you know, he's motivated by the fact that Errol Spence called him out for Frank Martin, right? And Frank and stated Frank Martin would knock him out. Uh, so Errol Spence understands as a promoter, he's wearing his promoter hat in this situation. And he understands that that would be huge for Frank Martin, okay? Um, for Errol Spence to get a fight with Frank Martin, for Roley Romero, Roley Romero is a big talker. Like I said, he convinced people that he was going to beat Javante Tang Davis. He he. He was confident in his abilities that he was going to beat Javante Tank Davis. Uh, and he was a very aggressive. He came out very confident, but ultimately that cost him. So imagine you put him in the ring with Frank Martin, the exposure, 
uh, the acknowledgement that Frank Martin would get. Errol Spence is wearing a great hat. Uh, he's doing he's he's doing a great job. He's paying attention to what he needs to do to um, make Frank Martin a superstar. So uh, let's see how this unfolds and plays out. Is Frank Martin going to fight Chris Colbert, or is the door still open for him to fight Roley? As Errol Spence stated, man, my fighter Frank Martin is going to knock you out. Never mind. Don't worry about fighting me. Worry about fighting Frank Martin. So let's see how this unfolds and plays out. But that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue, Blue Blood Sports TV. Hit like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to New Media. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.